welcome back now we will discuss about the comparison between vapor absorption system and vapor compression system so already we have discussed both the system that is vapor compression system and vapor absorption system so this vapor compression system is work operated and vapor absorption system is heat operated that is for the working of this vapor compression system high grade energy like electric energy or mechanical work is required but for this vapor absorption system it requires low grade energy that is waste heat from any process we can used for this system next is vapor compression system is economical when there is a availability of electric energy that is electricity is available vapor absorption system is economical when low cost fuel or waste heat is available next is in vapor compression system compressor is required and in vapor absorption system compressor is replaced by four components that is absorber generator pump and pressure reducing valve next difference is as there is a compressor in vapor compression system more amount of refrigerant we can circulate throughout the system hence the coefficient of performance of this vapor compression system is more and the coefficient of performance of this vapor absorption system is low so in vapor compression system there are number of moving parts or many moving parts in vapor absorption system very few moving parts are there in case of electrolyte separator there is no not there is no single moving part next difference is in vapor compression system as there are number of moving parts regular maintenance is required in case of vapor absorption as there is no any moving part or very few moving parts less maintenance is there next is in vapor compression system as there is a number of moving parts always some amount noise and vibration takes place but in vapor absorption system there is no noise or less noise and less vibrations next is this vapor compression systems that is small systems are compact and large systems are bulky in vapor absorption system small systems are bulky and large systems are compact next the performance is sensitive to evaporator superheat in case of vapor compression cycle but in vapor absorption system evaporator superheat is not very important in vapor compression system liquid at the exit of the evaporator may damage the compressor but in vapor absorption system presence of liquid at evaporator exit is not a serious problem because there is no any compressor next the system cop reduces at part load and in vapor absorption system system cop remains constant at various loads so this is simple difference between this vapor compression cycle and vapor absorption system 